the rumors of 33 school bombings in Springfield, originating overseas, have sparked serious concerns about the media's responsibility in reporting and spreading information. Many in the public perceive that some media outlets or commentators hastily link these threats to domestic politicians, like Donald Trump and J.D. Vance, despite a lack of solid evidence. This rush to judgment can be seen as a manifestation of bias against conservative leaders. At least 33 separate uh, bomb threats, each one of which uh, has been uh, responded to, and each one of whom has been found uh, as a hoax. So 33 uh, threats, 33 hoax. I will make that very, very clear. None of these had any validity. Uh, at all. Uh, we know uh, that people are very, very uh, concerned, uh, and we have taken some actions, and uh, in a moment I'll let uh, Andy Wilson go into more detail. Uh, but we've moved resources uh, into, into Springfield. So I want to say to the parents in Springfield, uh, these hoaxes, have, these, these threats uh, have all been hoaxes. None of them have panned out. Uh, we have people, uh, unfortunately, overseas, uh, who are taking these actions. Uh, some of them are coming from one particular country. Um, we think that this is, uh, you know, one more opportunity to mess with the United States, and they're, they're continuing to do that. So we cannot let the bad guys win. Uh, our schools must remain open. Public calls for apologies from media figures, such as Lester Holt and Dana Bash, underscore a demand for accountability. There is a strong sentiment that the media holds a critical role in shaping public perception, and when it spreads misinformation, especially on serious matters like school threats, it can erode trust and deepen political divides. The phrase, Democrats will still present it was Trump, reflects a frustration with what some see as an ongoing trend of unfairly blaming conservative figures for negative events. This sentiment points to concerns about partisanship overshadowing objective reporting, with potential consequences for national unity and the quality of public discourse.